Welcome. I have one more video that I want to share with you about um, just associating a service profile with a blade. Now, I am going to be using the UCS emulator and obviously the emulator means that there's no real hardware, but at least you guys will have a little bit of a feel for the actual steps that you have to go through, whether you're working with a service profile that is bound to a server pool, whether it's a profile that you need to unbind from a template. There's a couple different things that we can do from this view. So from the server tab over here on the left, and when you select one of your service profiles, in this case, I'm just pointing to this um, dev service profile. Over here in the general tab, you can kind of get a list of some of the things that you can do. You can change the service profile association, which I'm going to show you at the moment when we go over here on the right where it says associated server, we don't see anything. Um, also, what we can do is we can assign a server pool. So if we had one down here selected, we could do that. Um, if we wanted to unbind it from the template, we could select that. Um, or if it was already unbound and you wanted to bind it to a template, you could do that as well. So let's say we wanted to change our service profile association. That means if it isn't associated with a blade, we can put it on a blade. Or if it's already on a blade and we want to move it to a different blade or a rack mount server, this is where we can basically do all of that. So we can either select from a server pool if we had one configured. We could select from a pre-provisioned slot. Um, most of the slots, if you actually look at the chassis um, from the front, it's going to be left to right, slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four, top to bottom. Um, obviously, if you're working with blades that take up a full um, width of the chassis, it'll be consuming slot one instead of slot one and two. So. If we were to selecting an existing server, you could see just the available servers. Obviously, if we did all servers, it would be even the servers with a service profile, which we don't want to do. So the available are just the ones that don't have a service profile. So you can see chassis, you can see slot, so on and so forth. So maybe I wanted to select chassis five slot four. If I selected that, I could go ahead and click OK it'll give me some warning messages. Sometimes these are going to be helpful to look at, especially if you're doing things like making modifications to a service profile template. Depending on what it is that you're changing, you might reboot all of the servers, not just the service profiles, but the blades themselves. So this is telling us that it's gonna make those changes. We can always modify that whole process on the FSM tab. Um, there's not gonna be a whole lot showing here because of the fact that we don't actually have any hardware, but typically you'll be able to see the status bar kind of increase as you go through the application. It'll show you the individual steps that are actually in progress. Sometimes too, under here where it says retried, if it's retrying like five times or six times or seven times, that might be an indication that there's a problem if you're trying to you know, boot from um, a fiber channel array and it's retrying and retrying, you might wanna double check your addressing. So those are definitely just some pointers or some things that you might want to take a peek at when you are associating a service profile with a blade. Thank you, have a good one.